In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a dynamic copyright year to your Divi footer, and this also automatically updates. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to head over to your Divi theme builder. So I'm going to come over here and click on theme builder. Next, we're going to come over here to our global footer and then build global footer. Next, we're going to add our pre-made layout. So I'm going to come over here and click on this plus button. So the pre-made layout we're going to use is for a museum. So I'm going to search for it and choose my homepage. Click on use this layout. So this layout is of a full page so we need to delete all the stuff that we don't need so to do that easily i'm going to come over here and then start deleting so i'm going to start over here with my about delete on the schedule call to action events so now i'm only left with my footer so next i am going to add a text module just below the uh, divider so i'm going to click here on this plus button and search for my text module and select it Next, we're going to come over here and add some dynamic text. So I'm going to click here on this uh, little icon here. And what I have now is a long list of my drop down. So the specific one I need here is the current date. So I'm going to select it. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is to uh, paste our copyright over here and make sure you enter it on the before. Next, we're going to come over here on the after and add our all rights reserved. But what I need to do here is to just add a space so that uh, everything won't be way too close together as this is displayed on our website. Now, over here on the date format, you can just click on this drop down and choose how you want your date to show. You can also come over here and select custom to choose how you want it to show. But you know what? I'm just going to keep things very basic. I'm just going to choose what I have here already. So I'm going to go with this option and then click save. Next, I'm going to save one more time and I'm going to now switch over to my desktop view so I can see what it looks like so far. So here it is. Uh, it's looking great. Now, the next thing I need to do now is to go in and uh, customize this with my own text and colors. So I'm going to go back in by clicking here on this gear icon design. So I'm going to start here with my text. So I'm going to go ahead and select it, choose my font. So I'm going to search for my font here and select it. Next, I'm going to come over here to my font weight and set it to bold. And for my size, I'm going to leave it at 16 pixels. Scroll down here and center my text. All right. So now let's save our footer and take a look at our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.